Welcome to the Everdell Moment. I'm Greg Blythe, and today I think I have something kind of special for you. Today is another stone review, but it's a little something different. You might have had a moment to check out JapaneseNaturalStones.com, and if you have, you're probably looking at natural stones. They went ahead and took a, a little bit of a chance, and they created their own competition. They actually made synthetic stones, and we have them here. I went ahead and got the system for you, and we're going to check out the different things that they've done. I'm going to be sharpening a knife that is kind of legendary, the Masamoto KS 240mm white number 2 Gyoto. You guys have seen me use it before. It's a knife I know. It's a knife I love. I'm excited to do it for you. I have not used these stones, and when you see in just a second this flyby, you'll see that they've never been touched. So let's go ahead and take a look at the stones that we have available. So now we want to take a moment to look at the different stones. All of these are synthetic stones, even though this one kind of looks natural. So the first thing I want to point out is that you'll see that there are no markings on the stones in English or any other language other than Japanese. The stones are similar in every one, so it does not differentiate when they send them to you which stone is which. So good luck in remembering. I would suggest marking them somehow, whether it's with marker or something that it is, adheres that you can stick to it. But just to show you what we have collected, we have the 300, the 800, the 1000, and then this is the Aoto, which is a two to 4,000 grit area. And then we jump up to the 6,000. And I don't know if you can really notice the little discolorations, the pink and the yellow that's kind of in there. It's kind of unique. Okay. So we're ready to go on some knife sharpening with this Masamoto. One of the things I want to point out, um, my wife and I actually were filming and we needed to stop and go back. We learned very rapidly that this stone is, a, is not a splash and go. It is a soaking stone. It needs to sit for 15 minutes. So I'm actually going to probably pull a different knife out and use it just to feel it. I don't know that it'll be ready by the time I'm ready to get to this. So we're going to jump on to this 300. So this 300 is a splash and go. You literally just put some water on it. Let's make sure that this is adjusted nice and tight. Again, this is a little bit more narrow stone than I'm used to on a synthetic. You can see that the water instantly pulls up. So I think you'll notice like right off the bat, I definitely have the, the texture of the 300. I can feel it. It's very like much telling me that it's a 300. Um, I'm sure it won't take any time. My hand is barely touching this knife. I want you to know this 300 is aggressive and I don't really think that I need to do much. Notice that there's no buildup. There is no load. Any type of dark material is just kind of rinsing off, which is strange and amazing simultaneously. So... And boom, I mean, it literally did its thing. So we need to turn the knife over and uh, let's do the other side and see what kind of response we get there. I mean, the feedback is incredible. Uh, it definitely would not take long to sharpen a knife. You can see a little bit of a slurry right there, finally, kind of happening in the water. The edge is done on this stone. Uh, what is there to clean? I mean, anything? No, it's, it's, it's amazing. So we're out. Let's see. We're going to jump over to the 1,000. Let's see if the 1,000 grit stone fits this. I want to see if they're the same length. So it is a little longer. So that tells me right there dimensionally that I do need to make an adjustment. It's not quite the same length. This is a splash and go. The water is instantly there. Let's make sure that the knife is clean of any type of residue from the 300. And you can instantly see the, uh, the material building it from the stone and the knife kind of coexisting. 
This 1000 stone is much more aggressive than I'm used to on a 1000. I, it has a, a feeling that's a tactile feeling. It's giving me feedback instantly. I can tell it's a little bit more aggressive than your average 1000. Uh, it's a hard stone. I mean, it's nice. It's even, the burr is, I mean, right there, and a little bit more. A little bit more. I'm not pushing at all. I'm letting the stone do the work. And you can just see some material in the stone. Not a lot. I mean, we're used to much more load than that. So we need to turn this over. I think I hear one of my dogs coming to check out the action. They're so excited about these stones. So I'm sure you guys can see the color on top of the stone. Trying to use the whole stone. I mean, it's incredible. That is done all the way to the bottom. The edge, just a tiny bit on the edge. It did give you a little bit more um, of a slurry, kind of some load up. Not a lot to clean on this stone. Yeah, definitely some good texture. Okay, wow. So, um, easy to clean. Move on. Now let's see if the next stone. So this is the Aoto. And the Aoto fits it again. It's just a little bit long. Let me see if I can go straight down. Nope. So it's just a little bit longer, so they're not like a universal size per stone. This is going to be in that 2,000 to 4,000 grit range. Now, it's set on the side. It's a splash and go. Let's find out because this stone feels very similar. The 800 that I'm soaking feels very similar. So let's find out. And yes, definitely, they told us it was a splash and go. We can see the material on there. All right, so let's not bring any... A material from the other stone and instantly look at that instantly now for a lot of you this would be a polishing stone this would be like your mid grit if you're in the using the Japanese kind of terminology so if you're into knife polishing this Aoto is a big stone it would last you a long time you can definitely tell the difference. It's got that smooth feedback. Um, that 2,000 to 4,000 grit range is definitely, uh, I mean, is it a two? It could just be a two. I don't know if it's, you know, I mean, they put their range up there, but it definitely could feel anywhere from like a two to a three. I wouldn't say it's a four per se. So we've definitely got some load up on there. And I'm pressing a little bit harder on this, trying to use the whole stone. I do feel like there's a little bit of load up on the stone. There we go, yes. So I'm gonna leave that right there to see if it slows me down. I mean, it feels good. It feels nice. I mean, it's a, it feels like it's a little bit softer. Okay. So let's check it. Yeah, we've got that micro bevel all the way down. Um, let's just see it clean up. 
cleans up nice. Let's spray, see if we can. There we go. Get that material off of there. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we still have, I don't know if that's just some water kind of holding itself, a little bit of this discoloration, nothing to be, I don't know why it's actually dark on the side, it came that way, that did not happen during the sharpening, but you know, that's just the way it was manufactured. So we're going to jump over to, let me kind of organize this, to this uh, 6,000, this stone is actually probably more the same size as the 1000. I do need to tighten it up a little bit. I'm enjoying the fact that I'm able to resecure this so rapidly. Again, this is the Tejiro sink bridge available by um, Chef Knives to Go. Let's check out the splash instantaneously. We're good. With the knife, we're going to remove any material that might have been from the other stone. We don't want to take it with us. Okay instantaneous feedback I would say that it has a little bit more of a feeling than say the Sahiro um, 6000 like even the um, the Morihei 6000 maybe it's closer to a 5 There's just a feeling. I'm not saying it's not a six. I'm just saying that there is definitely like feedback that I can feel in the knife, some textural components. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm noticing on both of the stones here that there's a kind of a mark. It's almost as if like the mark that they put on the stone has some type of a, a seal to protect it. I'm, I, it's kind of nice knowing that they'll still be there. Um, so don't quite feel everything yet. I would say that... Um, I mean, it's nice. I think it's a little bit more of a 5,000 than 6,000 myself. Everyone's different. I, li I personally like feeling uh, some type of feedback. Not sticky at all. Instantly slides. I mean, it was instantaneous. Okay. Now, if you've been watching any of the stropping videos, any of the sharpening videos, you know that you really don't want to do edge leading strokes. I'm not doing edge leading. I'm doing edge trailing, but I'm going to be finishing with some edge leading. You do not want to do edge leading strokes on anything higher than a 6,000. So uh, maybe even higher than, a, I think it was 8,000. 8,000 is the highest you want to go. Sorry about that. Let me correct myself. Um, so this is a great stone to do edge leading strokes. Definitely it'll help with some burr removal, kind of make for a, like a little cleaner edge. You can definitely see the load, um, but it comes off easy. It's not sticking, just kind of floating. Again, no, no, no loss of uh, the symbol. I don't know if the symbol being there is um, maybe making the blade slide over it. That's something to kind of be curious about. Like if that's not gonna be lost, is it a sticker that maybe there's no grain? Okay, so, wow, a little bit more here. All right, 
All right, so let's do some uh, cleanup here. Let's see how that works. I mean, everything came off perfect. You couldn't have asked for anything better than that. Okay, um, so now we have edge leading strokes. And you can hear the textural feedback. I don't know that you would hear it that. There's a certain amount of graininess for a 6,000 grit stone. It is a beautiful combination of that yellow and pink. I have not cut into a stone. These are definitely hard stones. They're, they've been really nice. I mean, there's a lot of good things to say about it. Um, they're almost just onto their own. They're just different. Uh, I would say the Morty Hay is different. Um, and I, I would, couldn't compare that. This 300 is amazing. Uh, I would say it definitely it's, resembles more of a natural stone. I think that's why they sealed it. Um, this is definitely the 1,000 to 6,000 and definitely more of what I'm used to with synthetics. Um, there's some aggression that you can feel. Does the larger stones are almost like a little softer? Okay, so we're, we're just doing um, some edge leading strokes. I'm going to now do some strop, just kind of super light. And uh, my wife is going to probably come into the shot as she grabs a different knife. Uh, there you go. Hey, not, hey, wife. this is Mrs. Never Dull Moment. She's going in the infamous knife drawer and grabbing the, uh, right there, the big blue one right in front of you. Nope, come forward. There you go. All right, guys. So we're going to end up busting out the uh, Moritaka 250 millimeter. Um, it's like a Masamoto KS copycat. And uh, it is going to be a different steel that's going to be super blue. Okay, we've definitely done a lot of work. So you can see that this stone definitely had like a certain amount of load up, but it cleans up well. Honestly, I mean, I spent a little bit more time than I needed to on like the stropping and everything like that. Uh, this system was pretty aggressive. I mean, I think you can definitely use it and get things done like quite rapidly, okay? So let's just see real quick what this looks like on a piece of paper. Okay, so I'm still thinking, like, where's my paper? Okay, this will do. This is not something that we're going to be needing around this house. So a quick, like, confetti kind of a thing. Like, oh, yeah. Whoa, make sure my fingers are not in the way. Yeah. Okay. So let's do a push cut real quick just to push. Yeah, that's gonna. Oh, and it fit. Look, it fit. So it it fit. It's maybe barely loose. It fit. Yeah, it was a little short. So it's not 100% universal. So this has definitely been soaking long enough. So so we can instantaneously see that there's some type of buildup. Um, the texture is there. I don't know that it feels that different than the 1000. It's a big stone. Um, done instantaneously. I mean, the, the burr, I'm definitely going to finish this off camera. So you can see there's a mud on there. Comes off pretty easily. Okay. So okay. So somewhere in there, my other camera dropped. So we're back on here. So let me just kind of go back over one last thing. I just mentioned a second ago that I like the 1000 over the eight. I don't think it's necessary. Um, I'm not a big fan of having to soak this for 15 minutes. I definitely like the splash and go. Um, when it comes to this Iotto, this is the two to 4,000. I think it leans itself towards two to three. 
Uh, definitely can see you using this as polishing. Um, I definitely take away from this that if you're gonna get a system, I like the three, I like the one. The six feels like a five. I think if you're in Europe, um, you can get that shipped to you easily. There's definitely a price difference like having to ship it to America. They do like take off the pricing if you order a lot. So there are great systems in America. If you just want something fun and exotic, it does not go above the 6,000. I think there's a combo stone you can get it above. But um, I do like the product. I love the company. I love their natural stones. Definitely, if you have the opportunity, collect the, the 300. I mean, psh, I would put this up there with any of the coarser grits that I need to sharpen a dull knife. Um, hopefully, you learned something from this. You might have been spying these. I'll definitely put links in the description. If you've been checking them out and wanted to know, I think now you know. They're, they're a pretty good product. I think the pricing is just a little above normal for some of these things. I think you can get great stones for a little bit less. I appreciate you uh, checking this out. If you've been using the stones, write something about it in the comments. Let people know your feedback. And I'd definitely love to hear what you're thinking. I appreciate you being here. Just want to wish you uh, never a dull moment as always. God bless. Have a great night.